Welcome back. U.S. tech firm Oracle says it has reached an agreement to become TikTok's tech partner in the United States. The proposal, which was confirmed by U.S. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin over the weekend, comes after the Trump administration pressured TikTok to sell its U.S. business over national security concerns, claiming that the app's Chinese-owned parent company ByteDance has repeatedly denied. Although details of the deal remain scant and the U.S. government still must approve the partnership, the proposal raised new questions. Would the deal elevate or alleviate the Trump administration's concerns? Why Oracle? And how might the deal change TikTok's tune and future operations? Well, joining me to answer these questions are in Beijing, Mr. Liu Xiang from Chinese Academy of Social Sciences, and again, Mr. Einar Tangen, our current affairs commentator. Great to see you all. So the TikTok saga, Mr. Liu, let me start with you. It has been unfolding in the U.S. since the Trump administration first threatened to ban the popular app back in July. Microsoft seemed as a front runner in a bit to buy TikTok's U.S. business for a while. So now why did the tech firm Oracle, which didn't have any experience running a social media app, emerge as the app's quote-unquote trusted tech partner in the U.S.? What happened? Hi, Chou Yuan. Uh, it's very interesting to see that Oracle is part, now is part of the deal. Although we don't know the details of the deal, but I guess I, I can give some spe speculations about uh, Oracle's intention to be involved in the business of the TikTok US. Uh, actually, first I'd say that the deal can be, uh, can be complementary uh, be, uh, to each other because, you know, uh, Oracle is not uh, a consumer and a consumer and business. They they are a giant of business uh, software, but by joining with, uh, joining hands with uh, 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 TikTok, they can work together on the on some uh, on some uh, some uh, on the uh, consumer business, and uh, they can also provide uh, cloud computing and uh, enterprise. Uh, enterprise uh, management and uh, uh, customer relationship. So this is a uh, this can be a complementary uh, deal, uh, but we now we, we don't know whether it can be repro repro uh, approved by the U.S. government. On the other side, we know that uh, Oracle now uh, want to develop its its cloud computing business, but it's lagged behind. Uh, some other players like uh, Amazon or Microsoft. So they want to uh, catch up the trend in, uh, in cloud commute, uh, computing. By have a partner like uh, TikTok US, they can, uh, they can uh, go on this uh, track uh, very f um, much faster. <coughs> Einar, how do you think, how happy is this potential marriage going to be? What do you think? Well, I don't know how happy it will be, but it, it is uh, literally threading the needle. Because what you have on here is it takes away this concern that the uh, data that will be in the hands of an entity controlled by China. Because obviously Oracle will be handling all the data side of that. And with 100 million users, and that's what my colleague was talking about, that gives them a jump start into the cloud computing. Uh, that's what they want. They're going to get paid for handling uh, all this stuff. So it's, it's a good deal for them. Uh, Larry Ellison threw a big big Trump uh, <laughs> uh, fundraiser for him at his uh, house in uh, California. Uh, Trump likes him. Trump has already mentioned that he thinks that a tie-up with Art uh, Oracle is good. There's really not much Trump can do about this in the sense that it, it may effectively removed anything that he could object to because the whole basis of the um, 301 uh, finding was that this uh, data could be shared with the Chinese government or third parties. And it also addresses Beijing's concern, which was they did not want to have a forced technology transfer. Remember, this is Donald Trump pulling out his proverbial gun, putting it to, to bite Dance's head and sell TikTok to somebody in America or else. Uh, very uh, disturbing kind of things, especially given the U.S. criticism that it's China who's for doing the forced uh, technology transfers. So Beijing could be well satisfied with. Remember, it's not just up to Donald Trump and his administration. China will also have a say in this. But given the way it's structured, it's very well. But there's something else that people should pay, be paying attention to. 
Um, the way that um, ByteDance was uh, set up financially, they had Sequoia Capital and General Atlantic in there, two very big funds who have a lot of clout in the United States. And they, I think, helped kind of spearhead this deal with Oracle and made sure that they could thread the needle on this. And that might be a clue to future uh, Chinese companies going abroad in terms of how they should structure themselves to make sure they don't get singled out and beaten down. The Trump administration is now reportedly reviewing this technical partnership and has cited concerns about data privacy and censorship as the reasons behind why President Donald Trump signed executive order on August 6 that would ban the app if it didn't find an American buyer within 45 days. We don't have many details yet about how this partnership would actually work, but Einer, from what you know, will it satisfy the Trump administration's concerns? Is there any reason to believe that by partnering with Oracle, those concerns will disappear? Uh, yes, I, I think it's clear. I mean, uh, Trump is very transactional. Larry Ellis gave him a big fundraiser. He's already mentioned that he thinks this is a good tie-up. It would be very hard for him to go back on this. Remember, he still gets, uh, you know, this face-saving thing where he can crow that he, he forced China to turn over, uh, you know, Oracle to uh, an American company. But the truth is, the real value of this company is in its um, algorithm which allows people to, they're able to keep people on their site longer than others because of the way that they're able to uh, see what people like and keep putting more content in front they stay on. And this is very important to advertisers, obviously. So it's, it's, a, it's a very good uh, in-between um, settlement, uh, very, very clever. I like the structuring of it. Uh, I, I, kudos to how, whoever put this together. So TikTok is not selling its core algorithm. And Mr. Liu, uh, some are looking at this potential deal saying uh, the car can be sold but not the engine, meaning that ByteDance would not hand out source code to any U.S. buyer. Uh, but the technology team of TikTok in the U.S. can develop a new algorithm. How do you understand this? Uh, no, we don't know the details, but uh, I, I think there are two parts of the deal. The first is that the whole data uh, on the uh, on the TikTok uh, TikTok app will be uh, stored and processed uh, on the uh, uh, in the cloud system of Oracle. So that can diminish uh, some of the security concerns in the United States. And uh, uh, the second part will be uh, that uh, Oracle and a few other uh, investors will be a minority. Uh, stakeholders of the TikTok U.S. So that can uh, can help can help build kind of uh, bona fide uh, confidence in each other. So I hope this deal can help uh, to can help TikTok U.S. Uh, operate smoothly in the United States and can uh, give a showcase for uh, for how to solve difference between uh, U.S. and China. But now. Donald Trump attracted a lot of scrutiny for making comments that made him look like a broker in this deal and as if the concerns were a lot more about money and politics than any legitimate national security concern. But regardless, Einer, who gets the profits in a partnership like this? <laughs> well, it's split up. I mean, there's going to be an army of accountants and lawyers <laughs> who are going to say, well, this is yours and this is mine. Uh, basically, I think they're purchasing a service from Oracle. Uh, it's to Oracle's advantage. As I said, they'd love to, you know, if somebody says to you, I want to get in the cloud business, here's 100 million users. That is a great deal, and I'm going to pay you for it. So they don't have to go through this the kind of startup phase that really leapfrogs them, leapfrog them into the game. Uh, so it's good for them. And as long as they're handling all of the data and there's a firewall between that and the, uh, and the company itself, uh, I mean, uh, the, the ownership of the company itself, and it, the data is not moving anywhere else, this should be fine. And Mr. Liu, ByteDance is reportedly having discussions with both Oracle and Walmart for stakes in U.S. businesses. Why Walmart? How do you look at, look at this? I, I don't know why Walmart is interested in this app. I, I think it might be that Walmart want to want to uh, do some marketing work through uh, uh, through TikTok US. But but I think it's not necessary for Walmart uh, Walmart to be a share, uh, stakeholder uh, in this company. Yeah, it can work with uh, TikTok, and uh, TikTok has no reason to refuse that. 
uh, I think Walmart can, uh, can build kind of partnership with TikTok. That's good for everyone. Einar, Oracle and Walmart seems are totally different industries. Why is ByteDance even bothering with Walmart? Oh, well, quite frankly, uh, Walmart's uh, consumer base is a little bit older, a little bit whiter. Uh, TikTok's is the exact opposite. It's younger and more colorful. So uh, right now, what they need to do is tap into this market. They real, they, what they want is not the name. They want that algorithm. They want to be able to access that and try to make people more interested in their products and that goes to how you're presenting the products so if they think that TikTok can help them get over that especially since now Walmart is more and more in the um, you know internet sales uh, side of things uh, this would be very very important to them they need some sort of jump start they, they they're not going to come up with this themselves so it makes sense for them to buy or create a partnership an interesting deal to look at. Thank you very much, Mr. Lucian, Research Fellow at the Chinese Academy of Social Sciences, and Mr. Einar Tangan, our current affairs commentator. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of The Point. As always, follow us on Facebook and Twitter using the handle Liu Xin in Beijing. Download the CDT and app to watch our show, or go to YouTube and look for CDT in The Point. Thank you so much for your company. Bye for now.